Yastra. Welcome to uh, ICE 205 lecture series and this video is the lecture series number one on introduction to accounting information system. First of all, what is a system? So actually a system is a group of interrelated multiple components or subsystems that serve a common purpose or goal. So every system has parts or the subsystems that are related to each other and has a goal, a purpose, and should be an input. There is an input and output. And it is uh, reside in an environment and also they have boundary to separate the environment and or with the other system and also a system always has a limit to what it can accomplish okay let's say in your bedroom of course you will have a wardrobe or, uh, so your wardrobe usually has a system how you arrange your pants or your dresses or your um, socks and the wares so you you have where it resides i mean where you put those things so your wardrobe also a system because it has a purpose for you to store your attire so that is one uh, a system that you can uh, relate to. So, however, a system can be called a subsystem when it's viewed in a component of larger system. Okay, for example, your student portal is actually a system, and there are a lot of subsystems in your student portal. Okay, so what is an ICE? accounting information system is it accounting and information system yeah, it could be true yes it is true because accounting is also of an information system because it identifies collab process and communicate the economy information about a firm however nowadays most of the companies using varieties of technologies to identify collective process also communicate those informations and it records the financial effects of firm transactions it also distributes the informations to the instructor users and um, helps them to make decisions and coordinate So the accounting information system basically is a, a subsystem that accumulates information from various subsystems and then to communicate them to the processing subsystem. So the function of accounting information system basically is collect and store data of business activities so that the mm, transactions uh, recording will be more efficient and effective and the eyes is actually provide a useful information for this making and also to provide um, adequate control over the management of the company and making sure that the data will be recorded accurately and uh, it completes uh, information accounting information system is to ensure the organizations are well organized. However, we need to understand what is actually inside an accounting information system. So any accounting information system must have inputs. So where the data of the information comes from, whether it's 
from internal sources or from external sources. And then the data on information will be processed. This process means that you sort, organize, calculate that particular information or data and and it can be stored into a data repository or a database or a file. And after this process, it becomes an output. So the output is actually information for decision makers, whether decision makers in terms of internally or externally. So account information system is valuable for a business, first of all, to provide an accurate and timely information so that they will uh, making a good decisions. And it also improves the product or services whereby this information is giving them uh, opportunity to increase the quality or you can review the data or uh, make an analysis in order to reduce the cost or probably to add special features in your products or services. And also, eyes will increase efficiency, especially when the information is delivered on time and accurately. And your decisions uh, usually will be more um, improved uh, because the information that is given to you is accurate, means that it's reliable for them to make decisions. Um, accounting information system will definitely improve in sharing the knowledge and expertise means that the knowledge from a marketing department or sales department will be known to uh, the production department. So easier for them to share the knowledge via the accounting information system. So what is the role of accountants in accounting information system? Um, the uh, the most uh, difficult part is actually to, for the accountant to decide what data to be entered and stored. So this is in the data processing uh, part. So who can access data means that the accountant should decide on the security of the data itself. That can uh, there will be it's uh, stored in the accounting information system and also must decide how the data should be organized or updated or storage and how it should be retrieved so uh, for example how to prepare a report how it should be formatted and also accountant need to decide what are the data should be stored in the, or data in, in the accounting information system that can meet the need of the users. Thus, the accounting uh, accountants should understand the whole process of data processing so that the account information system that they develop is much uh, meeting the needs of the users. So how the accounting information system would help the accountant? So first of all, once the accountant clearly conveyed their needs or how the uh, programmers or the professional developer of system, the, how the accounting information system should be developed. So when they're conveying the, the information or the needs, definitely the accounting information system will ensure uh, will be ensured to be 
uh, the most efficient or the most appropriate system for the organization. <coughs> However, as a system auditors, accounting information system can help the external auditors in testing out the fairness of financial systems so that the assurance services that they provide to a client has a broader scope compared to a traditional uh, attestations audit and also the system auditors um, can be an, an IT auditors because uh, we uh, as accountants uh, knows so how the result or the information uh, output should be so we definitely will know how the system works and also um, uh, it, ICE can help uh, the internal auditors uh, do the uh, auditing task Okay, let's look at the uh, comparison between the manual accounting system and the computerized accounting information system. Uh, the computerized accounting information system is actually easy to be set up compared to manual because the, um, the ledgers and journals is already embedded in the system so you only need to create the charts and the computerized accounting system definitely will minimize the error remember when we uh, uh, build up um, preparing the ledgers we usually will for got to um, write the other side of the account for example um, cash transferred to the bank account so probably we record the cash account but we forgot in the bank account so however the computer as accounting system will definitely will minimize that kind of error and definitely computerized mm, accounting information system will reduce time to add the data because in manual you need to record journal then journal to ledger ledger first to the dry balance mm. but computerized you only need to key in the data once then it can be transferred to uh, posted to ledgers automatically and prepare the trial balance by computer not you um the error corrections will become more transparent if you use computerized because everything that you do to the computer has an audit trail every keystroke every clicking of the mouse has a audit trail so the uh, IT auditors can uh, know who made the error even though you have deleted the error we still can find the culprit okay then the computerized uh, accounting information system will generate a form informative reports more easier for example we want to uh, extract the information of the sales report for the month so you just by clicking a few buttons and you will have the reports and the computer security system provide a more security of the data and in accessibility will be limited to certain people so it, it however this must be must be decided by the accountant who should access of the data so it more secure actually if using computerized because you need to have the user ID and password that's why 
never ever ever reveal your password and use the id to other people and the data storage can be scalable uh, means that mm, it can be grow um, uh, if using the computer as a counting system if manual the counting system you need to buy a drawers more drawers or in fact you need more space to store the data means store the papers however for computerized you only need a hard disk or nowadays you have an iCloud storage so cloud storage provide more capability of data okay this is a comparison table never mind i will share with you the comparison table later but i want to show you at the bottom of it where the manual accounting uh, county system where the trial balance will, will be prepared when necessary however computerized accounting system you can instantly retrieve the dry balance in fact you can retrieve it whenever you want and also give financial statement uh, we prepare a financial statement a certain period for example a quarter or the end of the year uh, however if you use a computer as a counting system, you can retrieve, you can prepare your financial statement every month if you want it. But there are some adjustments that you need to do. Uh, if you pro, uh, prepare the, I mean, retrieve the financial statement by monthly using the company. Remember just now we say that the value of uh, accountation based system is on the decision making of the users so in organizations there are many levels but majorly they have strategic planning activities where these are the top management or senior management and you have a level of management control so these are for example sales manager product managers and also you have a operational control activities so these are the lower level of management so these three tiers of uh, are, exist in organizations so these three tiers need information of structured decisions or um, un, for un, unstructured decisions whereby the structured decisions is repetitive and routine usually for lower management level for example you need to decide if the customer uh, uh, wants a credit sales so you have to decide whether the customer should be given the credit or not so uh, it's a repetitive process for uh, in daily basis or in, in fact some customers mm, uh, uh, would buy every week uh, so you have to decide whether you want to give the credit or not so these, that's, these are decisions so accounting information system should have the data to help uh, the lowest management level to decide this kind of decision making and also unstructured decisions where these uh, decisions are not recurring or uh, sometimes it's once in five years um, for example to plan or to, to, to do the sales budget or production budget for five years so uh, the accounting information system should provide the most accurate and related information so that the strategic planning activities by the top management can make that unstructured decision. Okay, let, I just want to share with you these are types of system in an organization, a few of it. So you can see that at the bottom there, accounting, the operational level system, accounting there. 
So you have a translation processing system on the payroll, account payables, account receivables, cash management, um, and the compensations, or the processing. So that has a low, low operational level system. However, for inventory control or annual budgeting, so you can see up there the management level system. So these are many subsystems that will in comp uh, will be comprises in a larger system in organizations. So you 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 should now understand uh, when we say system, not necessarily a computer but also a, a bigger picture of an organization. Okay, that's it for now. Watch out for the next video for the next topic. Bye-bye.